Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I am an employment attorney and we are answering publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answer to need from an employment attorney. Um, why? Why did I say it fast? Am I bored with the intro? I'm bored with the intro. Uh, like and subscribe. It helps me to help more people just like you. We have a question for an employment attorney from YouTube user Yo Sinaloa who asked us, how often should your attorney be communicating with you or how often should you reach out to your attorney if you've not heard about the case? Okay, so two answers to that, realistically speaking. Um, first and foremost, if nothing is happening in the case, and there will be periods of time where maybe nothing happens in the case for a month or two, we default to a monthly update. We have a para, you know, a paraprofessional, go into the case file, pull all the updates, query the attorney and say, hey, I want to reach out to your client and give them an update. Attorney will check the update, approve the update, and the update goes out then to the client. Clients often will get an update and say, hey, um, I have questions about that update. And they'll call for the attorney. And the attorney here, uh, we have a guarantee. We always call back either same day or within 24 hours, depending on the circumstances. On the weekend, it's 48 hours. So, first and foremost, if you're reaching out to your attorney, you should always be hearing back. This this idea that a lot of attorneys have, especially young attorneys, it, it grosses me out. Would they think they don't have to call their clients back? Like, oh, they're bothering me. You work for them. Yeah, they're going to bother you sometimes. They're going to have questions because they don't do this for a living. And guess who's going to have answers? It you. You're the person who's got to have the answers. And if you don't have the answers, you better go get them. If you know it's good for you, you better call your client back. So that's the default. Now, let me give you kind of something a little bit more meaningful than the default. If stuff is happening, you should be made aware, right? If there's mediation being scheduled, if they received a position statement, if there's a discovery conference coming up, if discovery is happening, if there is negotiations going on. All of these things to generate communication with your attorney, right? If somebody offers you $100,000 and your attorney calls you up and says, hey, they offered you $100,000. And you say, I don't want $100,000. Your attorney says, cool, goes back to the other side, says, no deal, right? The other side could respond, I'll give you $101,000. And unless you have a standing directive to your attorney, your attorney should call you, believe it or not, and say, hey, they went up a dollar. Same thing, same same instruction. And you can tell your attorney, listen, don't call me back unless they get to $300,000, right? That can happen, right? You can give those directives to your attorney. But without those directives being in place, they should call you every time there's an increase in the offer. They should call you every time they plan to make a demand because they need to confirm with you that the demand is accurate and that you approve it and they should get that in writing, right? They can have a conversation with you on the phone. Hey, here's what I think you should demand and why. And let's talk about that. Great. I'm glad we answered all your questions. I'm going to send you an email now so you can confirm in writing what the demand should be. Why do you confirm in writing what the demand should be? And this is not to slam clients at all, but this is very, very common. People will be like, hey, go settle my case for we'll just call it $500,000, whatever it is, right? And the attorney will go do it. And then the client will go back to like their work or their family or whatever. And their family will be like, oh, you dummy, you shouldn't have settled for $500,000. you are so stupid. And um, then the person will be like, well, I, I didn't say $500,000. And it sounds like this would never happen. This happens all the time. 100%. Because memory recall is not perfect. And also embarrass people tend to do embarrassing things like if you're feeling stupid or your family's making fun of you or you know something like that it's pretty common to just be like uh, I didn't say that the same way a kid in the cafeteria might freak out and try to like make fun of somebody else to get the attention off of uh, them right we're, we're all still kids essentially we're big kids right um, <clears throat> so if nothing's happening the default answer to your question is at least once a month and if something is happening, then I would say that there should be a communication every single time something meaningful takes place. And that seems a little vague, but it's not because 
the attorneys know what is substantive, right? Like if you have also if you have something if you have a question for your attorney, remember we work for you. Call, call, and don't be worried like oh I call too much. Okay, if you call like five times in a day, you better have a reason, right? But if you're saying oh I call each week because I got a question each week, okay. Well, the attorney should not have taken your case. They didn't think it was worth money. So they should be happy to take your call each week and answer your question. The end, right? Like that's, it's that simple. Um, so Yo Sinaloa, I hope I answered your question. I hope I, I did it justice. If you have follow-up questions, I will follow the comments down below. Like and subscribe if this was helpful. Take care, everybody. And I hope you're all hearing from your attorneys routinely. <laughs>